Step one, wake up early, gon' rise with the sun. Step two, get some good, some food in you. Step three, think real hard about what you wanna be. Step four, if everybody just do your thing. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. 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 Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day Wake up Today's gonna be a Hello guys, welcome to my channel So today we are going to crochet this very cute uh, chicken keychain So get your materials ready, they are listed at the beginning of the video And let's get started Okay, so we are going to start with the body and we're going to start with the magic ring and then six single crochets into the magic ring so we'll do one two three four five and six okay and then i'll pull the yarn to close the gap and i'll place my marker over here so now in the second row we are going to increase every stitch around for a total of 12 single crochets so i'll go into the next stitch and increase and increase in the next stitch and increase in all the remaining stitches Okay, so now in the third row, we are going to do uh, three single crochets, then increase and repeat that uh, three times all the way around for a total of 15 stitches. So we're going to do single crochet one, two, three, and increase in the next stitch. And repeat that again so three single crochets and increase and one more time three single crochets and increase okay so now after we're done with that now for the next two rows which is row four and row five we are going to do single crochets all the way around in each row for a total of 15 stitches in each round so you're going to continue and do single crochets all the way until the end and in the next round and then i'll see you when you're done with the fifth round and then we start the sixth round together okay so after the fifth round now in our sixth round we are going to do four single crochet then increase and we'll do that three times for a total of 18 stitches so we'll do single crochet one two three four 
four and increase and you repeat that again two more times so you'll do four single crochet increase then again four single crochet and increase okay so after we are done with that now uh, in the seventh round we are going to start by doing a chain four so we'll do chain one two three and four then starting in the second chain from the hook we are going to do single crochets all the way round so we'll have 21 stitches so starting we'll skip this stitch over here and then go in this uh, chain sorry so going to the second chain we'll do single crochet then we'll continue and do single crochet single crochet in the next chain okay then continuing in here we're just going to do single crochet Okay, and we'll continue doing single crochets all the way until here. Okay, so after we get back here where we did our chain, we're going to continue on this other side and do three single crochets. So starting from here, we'll do single crochet and single crochet again and another single crochet okay so now after we're done with that now in the eighth i'm going to place my marker over here so now in the eighth row we are going to start by doing three single crochet then increase okay so we'll do single crochet one two three then increase in the next stitch And then we'll do again five single crochets then increase so single crochet one two three four five and increase Okay, and then we'll do two single crochets, then increase. So single crochet one, two, then increase in the next stitch. Okay, and then we'll do single crochet, then increase two times. So single crochet, then increase. and repeat again single crochet then increase okay and then we'll do two single crochet then increase so single crochet one two and increase And then we'll do single crochet in the remaining four stitches so single crochet one two three four 
one, two, three, and four. Okay, so now we have a total of 30 stitches. So this is how our, your work should look like. Okay, so now for the next three rows, which is from row nine until row 11, we are going to do single crochets all the way around for a total of 30 stitches in each round. Okay, so please do single crochet in the next three rounds. And then I'll see you when you're done with the 11th round so that we start the 12th round together okay so after the 11th round this is how our little chicken looks like so now in the 12th round we're going to start by doing single crochet and then we'll decrease three times so we'll go here in the first loop and pull through And then we'll go into the back loop of the next stitch pull through and pull through all the three loops together so that's one decrease and then we'll decrease again and decrease again the third time okay and then after that we'll do four single crochets so single crochet one two three four and decrease and then we'll do two single crochets so one two and decrease and then we'll do single crochet and decrease and we'll repeat that again one more time so single crochet and decrease And then we'll do two single crochet and decrease and then we'll do single crochet and decrease Okay, so now we have a total of 21 stitches okay now in the 13th row we are going to start by decreasing and then we'll do single crochet and then we'll decrease two times so decrease and decrease again And then we'll do single crochet in all the remaining 14 stitches so continue and do single crochets all the way until you get here at the end okay so after we're done this is how it looks like so stuff the body before we continue because we only have two rows left as you can see I've already stuffed mine okay so now in the 14th row we're going to do single crochet then decrease and we are going to repeat that all the way around six times for a total of 12 stitches so we'll do single crochet then decrease and repeat single crochet and decrease
and repeat that all the way round okay so after we are done with that now in the 15th round which is the last round of the body we are going to decrease all the way round so we'll have six stitches so we are going to decrease and decrease Okay, so after we're done with decreasing, I'm just going to remove my marker, go into the next stitch and slip stitch. And then I'll cut off my yarn and finish off. So I'll just go into the next stitch and pull my yarn through, go into the next one, pull through. and pull through like that and cut off the yarn so as you can see this is going to be the tail and this is going to be the head okay so now we are going to make the wings Okay, so for the wings, we're going to start with the magic ring and then six single crochets into the magic ring. So we're going to do one, two, three, four five and six okay so now in the second row we are going to increase every stitch around for a total of 12 stitches so i'll go into the next stitch and increase and increase in the next stitch and continue increasing in all the remaining stitches okay so after we are done with that now for the next three rows which is from round three until round five we are going to do single crochets all the way around in each row for a total of 12 stitches in each row okay so continue doing single crochets in this round until you get to round five and then we start the sixth round together okay so after we're done with the fifth round this is how our work looks like so now in the sixth round we are going to start decreasing and we're going to do four single crochets then decrease and we'll do that two times so we have 10 stitches so we'll do single crochet one two three
four and decrease and repeat that again one more time so four single crochets and decrease Okay, so now in the seventh round, we are going to do three single crochets, then decrease, and we'll do that two times. So we'll have eight single crochets. So we'll have single crochet one, two, three, and decrease. And repeat that one more time three single crochets and decrease Okay, now in the eighth round, which is the last round of the wing, we're going to do two single crochet, then decrease, and we'll do that two times for a total of six stitches. So we'll do single crochet one, two, and decrease. And repeat. Two single crochets and decrease. Okay, then I'll remove my marker, go into the next stitch, slip stitch, and cut off the yarn long enough for sewing. now we'll start making the beak okay so for the beak we are going to use the orange yarn and we'll start by doing four single crochets into the magic ring so we'll do single crochet one two three and four and I'll pull off my yarn like that okay and place my marker over here okay so now in the second row which is the last row of the big so it's only two rows we're going to do single crochet then increase and then single crochet increase so we'll have eight stitches okay so i'm going to go into the next stitch and do single crochet then increase in the next stitch and then one more time do single crochet and increase Okay, then I'll remove my marker, go into the next stitch, slip stitch, and cut off the yarn long enough for sewing. 
okay now we'll make the crest all the upper parts of the head okay so for the crest we are going to use the red yarn and we'll start by doing a chain three so we'll do chain one two three and then starting in the second chain from the hook we'll do a half double crochet so half double crochet and then we'll slip stitch in the next chain and then we'll repeat that so chain three one two three and then we'll do half double crochet in the uh, second chain from the hook sorry and slip stitch in the next stitch and then we'll do that one more time so chain three one two three half double crochet in the second chain from the hook and slip stitch in the next stitch okay and then after that i'm just going to do a chain one and cut off the yarn okay so this is going to go here on the top of the head like that okay so now let's join all the parts together and do the finish up so guys as you can see i've already finished attaching all the parts together okay so uh it's really easy what you're gonna do is just attach the wings on one two three four five six seven eight uh, starting from the ninth stitch and going downwards as you can see this is how it looks like and same on this other side and then for the beak i attached on one two three I mean starting from the second um, row from here until here like that and then I embroidered the little eyes and uh, also the crest I attached it here at the top starting from here like from the beak one two you count two then from here until the back so that's how it looks like so guys i hope you enjoyed this pattern if you have any questions you can ask in the comments below and if you haven't subscribed please subscribe to my channel until next time bye